Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique. And today we're checking out the brand new drum tool from XLN Audio called XO. And I'm having a ton of fun messing around with this thing. It's essentially a drum sequencer like you've never seen before. And that's fairly obvious from just this kind of splash screen we see right here. And it's more than a splash screen. In fact, this is called the space. And these, all these points are individual samples, either inside of the XO plugin factory folder, which comes stacked with over 8,000 one shots, but you can also add your own content and XO will sort it. And you'll see how we have got kind of groups of colors here. These are similar sounding samples. So I can actually click on one. All right. So it's clearly blue is kind of our snares. And you can see as I'm clicking through here, I'm getting snare sounds. And when you drag in your own content or point to folders on your disk, Excel will sort it out and figure out what's a snare and what's not. It will also find duplicates and won't add those duplicates to the system. Uh, it's super intelligent. It doesn't depend on file name. It, it actually analyzes the audio itself and makes a decision there. So obviously these reds are kicks. And um, before we jump into actually getting into what this thing has to offer, let's just check out a few of these presets. So if I click right here, you see we got a quite a large preset range. These are all preset drum kits and drum sequences, okay? So you can see we've got tempo, the date it was added, the file name and so on. So I'm around 100 BPM right now. Let's see what we have around 100 BPM. So if I come up here. I mean, it just sounds so good, right? The quality there is just mind blowing. So the cool thing to keep in mind here about EXO is those already sound like a preset loop, drum loop that you would get in inside of a sample pack. But the fact that you're getting it inside of XO means you have full control over everything. If I want to change out this clap easily enough, the kick, whatever, uh, there's a sequencer page where we can get in and change stuff. And it's just phenomenal. Let's check out a few more. Let's go a little bit faster. So that's the one I had in the beginning, but I actually prefer that much slower. And let's go super fast. Let's go around 150. So we're getting drums and bass there. Let's go on the other end. Okay, let's just go ahead and run with this one for now. We're at 90 BP. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit faster in my DAW. All right, so here we are. We're inside of the space, as I said, and there's obviously the space and then the edit page. So whenever I'm on the space and I choose one of the samples, like let's say this kick, if I click any one of these, it's gonna give me a preview. All right. But I have a bunch of control over the sample down here. And in fact, I could come in and choose the starting point, the ending point, and so on. Uh, we also have envelope control, panning, pitching, tone, filter, 
velocity sensitivity, so on and so forth. We also have two effect sends down here, and we'll talk about those effects in a second. And then we have the sequencer down here at the bottom. But if I want to just, you know, I don't need to see the space every time, but if I just hit the edit page, I then have those controls for each one of the samples all in the same spot. So that's super dope. Down here is where the effects are. I could turn them on, turn them off. I can choose between reverbs and delays. And then I have a certain amount of control over the, those parameters. We have a effect send for the kit itself, the level pitch. And then we have the master channel down here with, with some effects, some filtering, and a soft clipped compressor. And then we have our sequencers over here. We've got a groove and nudging capabilities for each one of the lanes. And that's all pretty straightforward with any drum sequencer. But the thing that makes EXO really, really cool, if I jump back into the space for a second, is this similarity slider right here. So as I said before, when you import sounds and all the sounds that are already inside of EXO have been classified by the system. So I can actually click right here and get a similar sounding kick drum to the one that I have. And this will change the feel of the drum loop, but I'll be getting something different. So let's try that. So let's say I like this uh, this one a little bit better. Boom, I've already got that. Now I can do that individually or I can actually nudge them all to a similar one by using this slider right here. So let's try that. So let's say I like that one now. I could just come over here and then click the check mark. And that's now dedicated to there. And then I can still use my similarity slider over here to move around and find something similar if I wanted something different still. Right? Super, super cool. Now let's talk about importing your own samples. If I come over here to the folder, you see I've got uh, an extra folder added here. If I want to add something new, just hit Add Folder. Let me come into where my samples are. So if you've bought in a pack from Loop Masters or something, just jump into where you keep those samples. Um, come into something, and let's just find... You want to bring in your drum hit, so I'm just going to click Drum Hits, hit OK. Scan and refresh. You can see how quick it happens. That's a full folder done, added there. And I know that all of the file names for my origin sound pack start with OS underline. So if I want to come in here to the search, OS underline, all of these highlighted ones are samples that I've brought in. So this filtering system is really, really helpful, especially if you're looking for, say, a snare. So if I want to just type in snare, all the blue ones are the snares, obviously. All right. There's also a filter section over here, when we're browsing. So if I just want to check out kicks. So again, if I want to look for my origin sound kicks, I just type in OS here. It's going to give me all my origin sound files. And I hit the, the kick tab, and these are my origin sound kicks. And when I click one of these, you can see the file name down here at the bottom. That is, in fact, an origin sound kick. Now, if there's another file name from a different pack with OS inside of it, then it's not, it's obviously going to show up in the search result too, but it's a really easy way to tone things down. We can also go further and, you know, I obviously don't want anything from the core audio here. I just want the ones that I've imported. Boom. There we go. These are only going to be origin sound kicks. So this is very, very useful. We've got drumminess slider, length, so if we're looking for something shorter or longer, uh, main frequency, we can really hone in on what we're looking for as well. Turn this back on, go ahead and clear these results. And I mean, that's just phenomenal already out of the gate, but it, it still gets crazier, right? So if I come here to the edit page and then I come into the beat combiner, now I have a bunch of sequencers here that are kind of like presets. 
So maybe I want that kick to happen every two bars. All I gotta do is click right here and look over here, it's been updated. Now I can obviously come in and do this my, by hand, but having these kind of presets over here makes things a lot easier. And that works the same for each one of these. Now, not only that, but we have these hands which are gonna trigger this entire row right here and completely change up the sequence. I mean, that's already a different beat that sounds super dope, and we still have all of that other functionality on top of it to get what we're looking for. Is that not insane? Now, on top of that, there's also the randomize button. Right? Super dope. We also have a sample combiner over here. So this is using those similarity functions where we can come in and do it manually as well instead of having to come over here and click these buttons. You can see it updating while I'm clicking those. But instead, if you wanna come in here and do it really quickly, you can do it as well. Doing this is just gonna give you a whole new set of similar samples. And again, we can just trigger that whole line if we wanted to, or we can hit the randomize. And another really, really cool thing too, is when you're inside of this sample combiner and beat combiner, you're in what's called the playground. And what this means is that at any time, if I get lost in the weeds or if I just go down the rabbit hole, which you can easily do with XO, I can just hit this button right here and I'm back to my original. So I don't need to worry about it. It's not like destructively changing what I had before. Once you get into there, you're inside of the playground. You can see it with these striped lines. You'll know that everything, all these changes you make are not implemented until you hit this green button right here. But just think about this. It's just insane to me how dope this plugin is. And let's just get out of here for a second and check out a few more presets. It's just such high quality. <laughs> it's just such high quality. It's just so clean and perfect. Let's see, what did I just saw like Tribe G Electro, yeah. So even when I'm inside of my preset browser, I can still come over here and change similar sounds. You see how different that is from the original? Just by switching up the samples, we've got a completely different feel. And it only took a click of a button. So there's also a random button here, right here. We could just click it and it's gonna bring us to a new preset. Uh, you can obviously save your own. I'm sure there'll be packs coming out. I'm probably gonna make my own pack for this just because I'm, I'm gonna be using it so much. And there's one other thing I wanna touch on before I jump out of here and that is exporting. So if I come over here, you see that we got kind of an upload button. Uh, we can export one, the individual drum hit by just clicking and dragging and dropping. Um, we can also render the waves. So if I, let's see what we have here. So you see we have some processed files. Some of them have filters, pitching, so on and so forth. If I hit render waves, you can see that now I can actually drag in the full loop that I've made into my DAW, clicking and dragging and dropping. If I move this over, drag and drop, boom, full drum loop right there. Or I can bring in the MIDI, boom or I can bring in any individual process sound or the original, or I can do them all at once. And inside of Ableton Live, click tip. If you hold down control, it will put them each on their own lane just to separate them or all of those indiv individual processed versions. So there is just a ton of options inside of here.
Now, when I hit this render waves, I'm actually saving that content to disk. So if I open that up, you can see inside of here, this is where that content is. When you first open the plugin or launch the plugin and go to the upload button or the export button, it's gonna ask you to save or create a folder for these files. So just remember that you're gonna be saving WAV files. They can add up. So every now and then you might wanna jump in there to clean it up. I mean, they are one shots for the most part, so you don't need to worry about it too much. But I mean, if you get in and use it as much as I think you're going to, then you're gonna to wanna to remember that that file folder is getting uh, you know added to each and every time you export like that. But I mean, that's a very brief look at XO by XLN. And it's, it really is blowing my mind, guys. This is yet another plugin for 2019 that I'm fully on board for. It really is incredibly high quality sound, incredibly easy to use, and just gets the creative juices flowing easily each and every time I'm inside of it. So I'm super happy I got to share it with you guys. Highly suggest checking out. There'll be a link in the video description if you do. I'm Joshua Casper here for Plugin Boutique. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on everything in the world of plugins. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.